In District 7, a beautiful calm park called Crescent Park has a foggy, muddy, earthy, wet pond with damp soil with loads of pink blooming lotuses to look at. The smell of the lotuses is fresh and flowery. When the wind blows quickly past, the lotus flowers sway left to right calmly. The lotus comes in three beautiful colors, light pink, glorious purple, and clean white. When the lotus hasn't bloomed yet, they have pointy tips. When they have bloomed, they have round bodies with pointy petals. To Vietnamese culture, the lotus is more than just a flower. To the Vietnamese people, it symbolizes purity, heart, mind, and beauty. Lotuses were chosen to be the traditional flower of Vietnam for many reasons. For example, it grows in mud, but when it blooms, it is pure and glowing. In Vietnam, the land is developing very fast, which is taking away many lotus ponds to build houses and more buildings. Every part of the lotus can be used for foods, refreshments, decoration, and praying. Lotuses mostly bloom June through October and grows in geographical features such as lakes and ponds. Lotuses need sunlight, water, and clean fresh air to thrive. You need to have a water source and so what's really ideal is to have a small pond where you can plant your lotus and um, that water needs to be available year-round. Tropical climates really likes warm weather, lots of rain, and lots of available water. Oh yeah, animals really love lotuses. For one, small fish get to hide underneath their big broad leaves, and they also do a lot to clean the water and keep it keep it nice and clean and oxygenated for fish and other invertebrates. The lotus is the Vietnamese national flower, which should be sustained. It's important to keep the lotus plant sustainable because of its symbolism and many uses in Vietnam.